Hello everyone and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming guys. Today I'm going to show you how to play Pixelmon with me and Frills on all our videos guys. First of all, there's a link down below in the description and that's how you get to this media fire link. Frills has made a file for all of us and it has all the stuff we need inside of it guys. So all you have to do is click download right here and then we have all of the good stuff that Frills made for us. Which, thank you Frills for making this. It'll take about a couple minutes to download depending on what your internet speed is and then I'll show you how to do it when we get there. Alright, once the download is done down here on the bottom left, you're gonna click here, you're gonna show in folder, unless you're on a Mac or something, I don't know, I don't like Macs. Alright guys, the download is done, in the folder you will see the pixelmonstuff.zip, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna create a new folder, and this is where we're gonna put this thing at, we're gonna stick it in here guys, and we don't need this, well, actually we do need this, okay. Now we're gonna open this up, and we need to extract it here so we can get all the stuff out of it. Frills has made this really nice he's put it all in a separate folders making it a lot easier for us to get what we need how we need it see look we have the pixelmon stuff here we have the forge we have the mods and we have the resource pack the forge you can go ahead and we can click this and you need to click that the forge is what runs your mods and what keeps it the mods going and stuff so we can go ahead and install that client all right okay the forge has been successfully installed all right all right all right then we're going to go up to this thing here and we are going to type percent app data percent and then that's going to pop up and we're going to click on the minecraft section okay and you should find a folder here called mods and if there is not a folder here called mods you need to create a new folder and call it mods exactly like this right here okay once you click on it you'll go inside and if you have mods in here already you need to get rid of all of these mods and just delete them like that okay so now we gotta go back to the other folder here and we're going to go back to the Pixelmon stuff, and we have the mods, alright, we just take all these mods, highlight them, and we're going to take them and drop them in this mods folder up here in the Minecraft section. Alright, and we also have a resource pack. The resource pack is optional, but I really, really like it. Alright, see this resource packs here, we can open that up, and you can drop the 1.8 Pokeballers into here. Alright, and that will put that in there for you. But now let's go ahead and start with the Minecraft, and show you guys exactly how to get the Minecraft working. Okay, whenever your Minecraft opens up, it should always look like this right here. You'll have this little profile in the bottom left section here, and it'll say Forge. We need to pick the Forge at the bottom with the lowercase f if you already have Forge. You need the lowercase f Forge, alright? Now you need to go to Edit Profile, and you're going to go all the way down to where it says JVM Arguments. Make sure you check that box, and you're going to want to erase whatever is in there. And you're going to want to type this right here. The It is a minus sign, capital X, lowercase m, lowercase x. And then you can put this number here is how many gigabytes of RAM are in your Minecraft whenever you're playing. I have 8 gigabytes total on my computer and I put 6 gigabytes in my Minecraft to make it run a lot smoother. I had 4, it still runs good. Um, you can put 4 or 5. I don't know if any lower than that it will run the mods because you need a lot of RAM to actually run this stuff. So then type the number you want, then type a capital G, and then once you've done that, you just click save profile once you've done that. Okay, I can't speak right now. I'm speaking too fast. I'm trying to hurry up and get this video out. I have a little bit of time. I have to go to college, guys. All right, but um, then you just click play, and it should start, guys. And then your mods will start building up. You'll see here in a minute once the screen pops up that your mods will be building. As you can see here, it's loading the mods into the game. This is what it'll look like if it's actually working. It's going to take a little while since it's the first time. Okay, we are now at the main thing, guys. To add that resource pack I showed you in the earlier part of the video, you just need to go here. You will see all the resource packs you have, guys. The one we have is the 1.8 Pokeballers pack. Make sure it's over in the resource selected packs. And if you have anything else here, be sure you get rid of that, guys. And that is all you need to do right there. Okay, and to get to where I play at, you can play single player if you want to, or you can join other modded things. But I like to go to pixelmonlegacy.net. This is where I play at, guys, and it is pretty cool. Okay, guys, I hope that this video was really helpful for you people, and I hope that it helps you play Pixelmon, and I hope that you guys get on there and play with me, because I really need somebody to play with. Me and Frills and my other friend Dame Stacks, we've been playing this all day, every day. Um, if you guys get on, we will challenge you, we will battle you, and we'll have some fun. But leave a like, guys, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time on Self Wellness Gaming. Thanks for watching. Yo!